On August 1, 2016, Apple released a new update to iOS 10 that introduced more than 100 new and redesigned emoji characters for the iPhone and iPad in an effort to bring more gender options to existing characters and to add beautiful redesigns of popular emoji, a new rainbow flag, and more diverse and family options. This update included a change that beautifully redesigned the pistol emoji to that of a lime green squirt gun because, let's be honest, in the year 2016, lime green squirt guns were criminally underrepresented in the emoji industry. Ten months after this alteration, I finally got around to updating my iPhone to iOS 10 and became aware of the change for the first time, hence why this video is just now coming out. This change first occurred to me during a textual conversation with a friend of mine in which I, long story short, attempted to reply to him with what should have been the most gangster Santa Claus of all time, but wound up being just a ridiculous image of Santa Claus holding a lime green squirt gun. Although for the first time ever I could change Santa's skin color, which I think we can all agree is a sign of progress. Although I was practically a year late to the conversation, I was almost certain that there had been a great amount of controversy over this change. A quick Google search did not disappoint me. USA Today, Wired, and NPR all had extensive articles about the subject, and as you can imagine, the comments added a real sense of maturity to the discussion. Which, don't get me wrong, there needs to be a great big grand discussion about the subject of gun control in the United States, but I find it both sad and a bit disconcerting that the desire for said dialogue eventually took the form of a debate about smartphone emoji. But then again, emoji are a big deal to Americans because, after all, they are getting their own multi-million dollar animated movie next month. Personally, I can barely contain my excitement to see which incarnation ends up getting the cameo. But you see, that's what's so interesting about this. Apple stood alone in their decision to make the change. Every other phone company has thus far stuck with the classic pistol design, so if you view messages on anything other than an iOS device, you're still likely going to see the classic six-shooter. I get why Apple decided to make the change. Gun fatalities in the United States saw a big uptick from 2015 to 2016, although, as is often the case with data as a whole, gun violence can either be on the rise or on the decline, depending on how you choose to label the x-axis on the chart. There is no doubt about it, however, that media attention on the issue has increased dramatically. Gun violence is a big deal in America. The latest mass shooting in Virginia, which happened while I was editing this video, is just another example of just how routine these kind of events have become for some Americans. And I suppose Apple wanted to make a statement of sorts by turning what's seen by many as an object of violence into something that's more palatable and less, well, triggering. But I wonder, is this statement by Apple actually doing something to fix the problem, or is it just an empty gesture? I guess the world is at almost a year to find out, so I decided to do some research, and here's what I came across. The greatest effect that Apple's change seems to have had is on social media, where all the hardcore gangster rappers I follow suddenly have profile bios that are a lot less threatening. There have been 318 mass shootings since Apple implemented the lime green squirt gun, so it seems to me at the very least that the jury is still out on whether or not emoji censorship can actually convince lunatics to stop murdering people. And really, the issue of emoji censorship is confusing to me because for all the walk and talk Apple has done about wanting to keep things family-friendly and weapon-free in their emoji database, it seems weird to me that among other things they still allow the use of a bomb, a knife, a sword, the middle finger, heroin, prescription painkillers, bioterrorism, the black heart of death, a murderous clown, acupuncture, this man shouting obscenities at your mother, the door to the netherworld, anti-biking propaganda, and fire emojis to be used without thought about the message that any of those send to today's youth. This whole thing ironically opens up a larger discussion about emoji as a whole and the problems that arise from a lack of uniformity. See, when an author of a message picks an emoji to send to somebody else, that emoji is encoded and sent to that reader's device, and if the author of the reader does not use the same software or operating system for their devices, the reader's device may visualize the emoji in a different way than the author intended, thus altering the message itself. For this reason, representatives from tech giants like Google and officials from the Unicode Consortium convened the first international emoji conference in San Francisco, California on November 4th, 2016. By the way, in case you needed to be convinced that we're living in the most absurd time in human history, always remember that on November 4th, 2016, the people of Earth, in an effort to establish a universal standard for emoji communication, had to convene an international emoji conference to do so, and ultimately it was unsuccessful. Here's my solution. 
I guess if Apple wants to make a statement about gun violence in America, that's their prerogative as a company. At the same time, I think it would be prudent to still allow grown adults who are able to handle the option of using a pistol emoji the option to do so. So how about initially setting the lime green squirt gun as the default emoji, but then allow users the option to turn the gun back to the original standard design? I mean, the whole point of the iOS 10 update originally was to introduce more gender and racial options for the standard emoji keyboard board through the use of the press and hold feature. So, you know, why not use that feature in this instance and you can avoid the whole controversy altogether. Of course, if you're interested in exploring this controversy more, you could just petition Hollywood for a spin-off entitled The Slightly Tan Santa Claus with a Lime Green Squirt Gun Emoji Movie for the summer of 2018, of which I'd be more than happy to write the screenplay. <laughs> 